Hi, welcome to Mindful Cooking at Geeta's Kitchen. Today, I would like to invite you on a recent family day trip we took to Napa Valley, California. It was almost afternoon when we decided to drive down to Napa from Pleasanton. This trip was not pre-planned, but it was a beautiful day, so we decided on a getaway from home. We started at around 11.30 a.m. on this sunny October day and drove down on I-680 North. We stopped in Benicia town, approximately 40 miles from Pleasanton, to have lunch. Benicia is a waterside city in Solano County, California. This town once stood as California's state capital before it ultimately found its home in Sacramento. Unfortunately, we, did, we didn't have time to explore the town, so we decided to make that another trip for another day. Our lunch spot in Benicia was a Burmese restaurant called Ong Mei Lika a small restaurant serving incredible food. We ordered mango tofu, red curry, rice and noodles. After scarfing down the delicious food, we continued our journey to Napa Valley. The drive from Benicia to Napa Valley was very beautiful with wine yards everywhere, gorgeous landscapes and terrific weather. With so much natural beauty, it is no surprise Napa Valley welcomes nearly 3 million visitors each year. Hit the road for an easy, inexpensive way to see the picture-perfect scenes of Napa Valley, all from your car window. We drove past downtown Napa Valley. Once a sleepy residential area, the town of Napa is now a luxury destination with celebrity chef restaurants, upscale lodging, and manicured parks. We plan to stop at the downtown on the way back. We decided to visit a breathtaking winery in Calistoga called Castello di Amorosa. 50 miles from Venetia, this winery is not only known for its wine, but also its architecture as it is a 13th century Tuscan castle in the northern end of Napa Valley. Castello di Amorosa means Castle of Love is the realization and epitome of an all-consuming passion. Fourth generation winemaker Dario Satui built this authentically styled 13th century Tuscan castle winery to honor his Italian heritage and deep love for medieval architecture. He created the perfect blend of passion, culture and roots. We reached the destination and we are all ready to explore. Mr. Satui went to Italy and other places in Europe where he sketched out features in various castles. He then shipped actual stone from Italy to Napa to build the castle. You cannot build an old castle with new materials. So Everything, even the nails, lampshades, chains and all the metal carvings, everything was handmade the way they would in 13th century. We are entering the castle. This is the drawbridge entrance to the castle. You can see the courtyard, the interior Tuscan courtyard views. They created everything, imported lots of materials from Italy and Europe. 
this is the beautiful arcade next to the courtyard you can see the lampshade everything is handmade they displayed ancient italian wine making tools near the courtyard Mr. Satui began construction of Castello di Amorosa winery in 1994. He first intended to build an 8,500 square foot building without cellars, but gradually the project morphed into a 13th century Tuscan castle spanning 121,000 square feet. That's about three acres. with 107 rooms no two rooms are alike four underground levels four above ground levels you can see the wine barrels it's a huge barrel it took more than 8000 tons of hand chiseled local stone and nearly 1 million antique bricks imported from europe to complete the castle more than 200 containers of old materials and furnishing were shipped over from europe to decorate the interior we are going to the lower level to the tasting room and shop we can purchase wines grape seed oil grape juice and they they even have like bracelets and everything to attract the um kids you can say they arrange the wine bottles like very neatly and they have wine bottles in costumes also it is beyond our imagination to achieve this big dream this is the great grand hall grand medieval hall and look at the wall wall is covered with italian frescoes this is the fireplace there is no words to describe the perseverance and patience of dario satui who is the owner of the castle this view from the top of the castle is beautiful you can see the whole estate it's about 63 acres and you can see the olive trees the wineries and everything we did not get a chance to take the tour we will definitely come back soon to do the tour We want to see the torture chamber, fermentation area with massive stainless steel tanks. Few rooms were the entire wall are built in the bottled wine from the years before they started releasing. Great room and what not. Remembering the words of Mr. Satui on the way back. he said you do something you love you put your heart and soul into it you put everything you have into it people will see it and it will come back to you first you have to have a dream set your goals high 
If you really want something, go after it and you will get it. California Dreamer, Mr. Satue's life is a perfect example of success through perseverance, patience and passion. Hats off to you, Mr. Satue.